So here's a quick post which completely backs up the saying, once a cheater, always a cheater. And if you happen to find out that a girl that you're dating or you are uh, in a relationship with has cheated on the past on other boyfriends or all her boyfriends, it is best to, as fast as possible, hit the road. End it with her, block her, and do not fall for the tears. Don't fall for the I've changed. Don't feel that I've been born again, that the Lord has blessed me, or whatever. Don't fall for that crap and run. Because otherwise, it's only a matter of time, but she'll do it to you. Title. Would I be the a-hole if I break up with my girlfriend because I found out that she cheated on all her previous boyfriends? And a shout out to Tyson for sending me this post. He says, I, a 23-year-old male, have been in a relationship with my girl, a 23-year-old female, for six months. Our relationship has had ups and downs, and the topic of our past has not mattered much to us, at least until now. Smack! Bro, the past always matters. You can't just... Probably she's good-looking, and probably good body, good in bed, and he didn't want to rock the boat from his, you know, routine hoo-ha, so he didn't ask. Uh, this Saturday, she stayed at my house, and we were drinking. We got drunk, and she started talking about her past relationships. The body count issue doesn't interest me because I had also had casual relationships, but she told me that she had four serious relationships, of which all four she cheated on her partners. Well, there you go. You said you've had ups and downs in your relationship in the six months, the whopping six months you've been together, lots of ups and downs. What do you think she's done when there's been downs? Probably gone down on somebody else. So... It's over. Goodbye. However, immediately afterwards, she said that, that it was different with me because she has already matured and wants to stay with me forever and things like that. What a load of crap. She probably said that to guy number three and guy number guy number four, guy number three, and guy number two. Same fucking thing. Yeah, uh, mature. She's really matured that much. And I might add that I found out that their relationship, her relationship that ended with guy number four was only a few months before she started with this guy. Yeah, uh uh-huh. We talked a little more, and she stayed the night. And on Sunday, she stayed with me. And finally today, she went to work from here. I work from home, but I kept thinking about our conversation. You're darn right. You should be thinking about your... His stomach is probably, like, beating like... He's probably feeling sensations in his stomach. And that's telling him, get out. On Sunday, she simply said that she didn't remember anything. I don't know if it's true or not, if she was just pretending not to remember. Um, depending on how trash she was, it's possible she may not remember if she was really, really drunk. But if it was simply, you know, the stage above having a strong buzz, she remembers. She's full of crap. But this has left me reconsidering our relationship. Her last serious relationship was four months ago before he started being with me. So she only waited four months after that relationship to get with you. And I don't think that in four months she's matured at all. The truth is that I wanted to bring up the topic to talk about on Sunday, but she immediately said that she didn't remember anything and that it hurt her head to think about it. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a headache, honey. If I get a headache and we can't have sex tonight, he's like, oh, shit, okay, no problem. Yeah, very convenient. She doesn't want to talk about it. I don't remember that. This has left me wondering if the best thing is to consider or, or continue or end the relationship. She was quite jealous with me at the beginning, but now she's much calmer, at least since she com- comes regularly. What kind of coming are we talking about here? But the fact that she doesn't want to talk about it makes me doubt. No, no I just don't, I don't want to be the fifth guy she cheats on. Well, I'm afraid to say, Amigo, you know, very, luck, very likely are the fifth guy she's already cheated. You said you had some downs. Because when it comes to cheaters, the second in their view, in their view on reality, their rules, their code, the second their needs aren't being met, the second they're not, ha- they're not happy, they're going to go cheat. They're going to go find somebody else, whether it's to make themselves feel better, revenge, or to line up your replacement, something like that. And obviously she's done that on guy number one, guy number two, guy number three, guy number four, and you. Get out of there. And I don't like that she doesn't want to talk about it with me. She knows very well that the topic of infidelity is a deal breaker for me. Look, man, if she's unwilling to communicate about her past, if she's unwilling to talk about that type of thing or lie to you to your face about what she said, bro, what are you doing? You're a young guy, okay? If you got her and she's relatively good looking, I'm sure you can get other chicks. And by the way, why'd you get in a relationship with her that quickly? 
I was thinking of telling her that if we don't talk about it or, or if we, or we break up, but I don't know how aggressive that may sound. Or I was also thinking about ending the relationship once and for all, but would it be wrong to do so? No, it wouldn't be wrong to do so. It'd be smart to do so. Because why put yourself in the situation? The longer you're with her, the more likelihood is she's going to cheat on you or do something to hurt you. And the longer you're with her, the likelihood is the more attached you are to her. And when men become attached to any, when anybody becomes attached to anything, serious attachment, they have a very hard time letting go and they will let a lot of crap slide. When it comes to men falling in love with women and having an attachment for her, that's when he turns a blind eye. That's when he looks through the rose colored glasses. That's when he, you know, lets shit slide, uh, fails her test, doesn't check her, which makes her lose more respect for him, which creates more bullshit and round and round we go. It's a vicious cycle. No, end it with her. But just do it. I would do it in a place that was in public. And yeah, she's probably going to throw a tantrum. But at least no one can say you did anything in case she wants to say you did something. Because someone, think about this. Someone that has cheated on every single serious boyfriend she has doesn't exactly have much of a moral code. And you couldn't put it past someone like that to make up a bunch of crap about you to get revenge. Seriously. So do your breakup out in public at the local Starbucks. I wouldn't mind messing with Starbucks because Starbucks annoys me. So go do it. At, don't do it at D&D. Go do it at Starbucks. Have a coffee. Have a tea. And break up with her there. And she throws a tantrum. All those Starbucks people and the guys, and the guys with man buns and man purses there. And I'm sure there's going to be some. You know, they're going to see that happen. And there'll be cameras there. And walk away. Because otherwise you stay with her. It's only married time before what you suspect becomes true. Once well, a cheater, always a cheater. Now some comments. One guy says, not the a-hole. Four months is not long enough to grow to grow out of being a serial cheater. If she was actually maturing, she wouldn't be trying to pretend that conversation didn't happen. Amen. Also, the fact that she leapfrogged from her last relationship to you with no time to, for self-reflection and growth. Yeah, be very wary, gentlemen, of girls that go from one boyfriend to the next without any time to really be on their own. You know, because they never have any... But, but a lot of women do this. I've known some... I've had some that broke up with me when I was much younger. On to the next guy. I'm like, how did she move on so fast? Well, how do you think she moved on so fast? Another guy says, I'm sure she 100% means that she'll never cheat on you and she will be steadfast in that belief right up until another hot guy catches her eye. Or if she's mad at this guy. Then she'll conjure some excuse to explain away why this time was okay. It'll probably hurt, probably your fault that she cheated. You drove her into the arms of another man, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. It's not my fault I cheated. Nope, he drove me to him. He drove me to his dick. Once a cheater, always a cheater. She's already proven that point, having done so four times already. I'm sure it's more than four times. You've only been together six months. Best to break it off now and find someone with better morals and waste more time until the inevitable happens. Amen. So there you go, guys. If you find yourself in this situation, end it. But the, But... I know not all you guys are aware that the longer you're with her and the attachment is there, the harder it is to break it off. That's why it's really important to begin to do some digging early on about the girl's past. Now, of course, she can lie, but it's important to do some detective work before you actually get into a relationship, being exclu exclusive. I'm doing that in air, air quotes because clearly girls like this are never really exclusive to one guy. Got to do your digging because before other guys start doing some digging on her.